What's up, what's up, what's up? Time for another Dreadful Talk burrito review. Burrito review number 24. This week we got Casa Vicky. Found out from the, about this place and actually the San Jose History Facebook group. So shout out to Bob Emerson for posting about it or else I would have never known about it. So many little taquerias and spots ducked off in little neighborhoods. And like this one was like essentially like in a residential neighborhood. So yeah, I never would have stumbled across it if I, and so that's why um, recommendations are so valuable to me. So if there's any place that you'd like to see me um, review, send it to me in a DM at Dreadful Talk Dom on Instagram or Twitter, or you can leave it in the comments below. Um, if there's any place you'd like to see me review or, you know, a place you think doesn't get enough love or you think a place you think is underrated or off the beaten path, let me know. I'd love to check it out and uh, eat some carne asada. Yeah, no, no podcast this week for my podcast uh, listeners, but we are doing the burrito review this week. So, ooh, okay, we got a nice little fatty, little short and wide right here, little, little football. R rolled kind of weird. Got a little rip in the tortilla. Let's see what they're talking about here. I, I do like, I, I can tell the tortilla was like heated up. You know, you get that little bit of char on the tortilla. I do like that taste and smell. Off the bat, first bite, not impressive. Honestly, off the rip, not impressive. It's rolled really loose. The beans are busting out the side. The rice has little to no flavor. It does have the whole beans, which I typically like. Um, like them a lot more when they're not busting out the side of the burrito. I'm like, it's, it's just kind of bland. Like I'm looking for flavor. I'm not getting any onion or cilantro. It's just like bland rice, some beans busting out everywhere, wrapped poorly, man. I'm not stoked on it so far. The carne asada honestly tastes like it was like boiled. Like, like I'm not even joking. Like there's like essentially no flavor on the carne asada. Like little to no color on it. It's kind of gray. Man, did they fucking boil it? I usually try to show places respect and like, you know, try not to be too harsh, but it's so weird. It had a bunch of good reviews. Apparently locals love it. I am not impressed. I should, maybe like it says like police officers eat there. Like is it the white police officers? This is the gringoest burrito I had in a minute, man. I don't know if the Latino officers or officers of color are eating here. I don't know. They did give me napkin. And I gotta say... The salsa, at first, just visually looking at it, which I know it's hard to judge a book by its cover when it comes to the salsa, but looking at it, I, I didn't think I was going to be impressed, especially after tasting the burrito. By far, the best thing about anything that, of these flavors is the salsa. You can tell it's made in-house. Very flavorful. So, not going to hate on the salsa. As so I'm looking at it, I didn't think it was going to be fire, but it's pretty damn tasty. And it even has a little heat to it. Yeah, by far and away, pretty much the only part of this burrito that I'm enjoying is the sauce, and the sauce is pretty good. It's still not great. Man. So seven means I would come back, or I probably wouldn't come back on my own choice. I think we're going to have to go all the way down to the fives here. Like, I re if you've seen any of my burrito reviews, I usually find something I like about it, whether it's even just the size or the price. Oh, by the way, not cheap. It was like 11 bucks for the burrito regular, so I can't even give them, like, I'll even try to give them points there if I can. Like, 
It, it's not wrapped. Well, I can't even say you did a good job making it, like physically making it. It's falling apart. It's loosely wrapped. The meat has little to no flavor. The rice has little to no flavor. The beans are, like, I guess, okay. Like I said, it's hard to really enjoy them when they're spilling out of the side and just making a mess everywhere. Um, no cilantro, no onions, no cheese for what it's worth. I know it doesn't have to have cheese, but um, salsa. I would say salsa is, like, above average. Still not great, but definitely the best thing about it. Man, and this is saying something too, because I was absolutely starving. I, I could not wait to eat this burrito. Like I was so hungry. Like I hadn't barely eaten anything all day. I've been skating all day out in the sun. Absolutely famished. I almost made a joke before that like, damn, if you can't score good right now, then I don't know what to tell you because I'm starving. Like for real. I'm like so disappointed. Like it's literally falling apart. I can barely eat it. Look at it. It's I can't even eat it. It's you guys can't even see this. It's falling apart. It opened up and unraveled. This is a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. My goodness. I'm probably, I'm done eating it. I'll probably empty some into a bowl and eat it with like a fork and spoon when you get off camera. Yeah, it's already just rice, beans, and meat, which I understand it's a burrito regular. I don't want any bells and whistles, but some onions and cilantro should come standard on in any authentic place. Um, it should be rolled properly. The meat, no flavor. Like it says, essentially boiled. Like this could be like nothing. Like this could be flavorless jello. Like just no flavor at all. Rice honestly seems like some Uncle Ben's type of bullshit bland rice. Um, Ma'am, I said this place has a lot of good reviews. Apparently it's been there a really long time. I don't understand what's keeping, maybe something else is good. Maybe they're not known for their asada. Maybe they have good pastor. Maybe they have, I saw like, I don't know what the deal is because it's it's not that cheap. It's not good. They said, I usually try not to go in like this, but you got to give me something to work with. This may be the worst burrito I've ever had on here. And that's including the ones in Sacramento and Tahoe. Maybe not. I'm giving this a 5.3. And mind you, like eight means I would go back. Nine means this is elite. Seven means it was good, not great. I wouldn't go out of my way. Six means, you know, like this really wasn't fire, but it wasn't like actually gross. Like we're getting below that. We're getting into the fives. Like, I don't know if I'm going to finish this. I feel like, I kind of feel like I wasted my money. Um, I said, I really, like, I am searching for something positive to say, and I'm coming up empty. It's just not good. Like I said, the salsa is, like, above average. Like, if, it, if the burrito was as good as it should be, I would actually probably be, like, not a fan of the salsa, but because the bar's been set so low that, like, the salsa is, like, the only thing kind of edible. Man, not stoked on this. Like, I'm sorry, Casa Vicky. I'm sorry. Like, do better. Like, if if you like, if this is like you're gonna put your name on something, like especially in San Jose, there's a I can get a carne asada on any damn corner in town, and this just is not cutting the mustard. It is not. Five point three. I could go lower, but like. I don't even know what my scale is below five, to be honest. Like, I wasn't prepared. Like, I was saving my score below five scale for, like, Taco Bell or Chipotle or something. We may be in Crow. Actually, you know, I'm willing to say I bet I would enjoy. Actually, Chipotle is better than this. Chipotle is better than this. And I'm not saying that as a compliment to Chipotle. Damn, I know I've been brutal. This is Dreadful Talk Burrito Review number 24. Said if I was in Tahoe or Sacramento, maybe I may be, but I got this in downtown San Jose and it just can't do that. Burrito review number 24, like, subscribe, check out episode of Dreadful Talk Podcast, or if you're at like MMA or UFC, please go subscribe to Beefy Boys Breakdown. Me and my partner Harrison do a wonderful UFC podcast after each and every UFC card. Thanks everybody. Have a good one.